and welcome to Ivory Blush Roses, Crazy Quilting and Beyond. I know you thought we were done with our challenge project, but I wanted to take you on a quick tour of some of the other projects that people completed. We had so much fun and it was amazing to see the variety of projects that came out of this particular challenge. So here's a look again at the material kit that we were provided. The blue bird fabric that you see towards the left was the fabric we were required to use. And then we were required to use some of each of the embellishments that were provided. Now we have an overview of all of the projects. They were numbered and we voted on them by number so we didn't know who created them. In addition to voting for our top two favorites, we tried to guess who had done each work along the way. The work was exquisite and everybody used the materials in such different ways. I did find that people's voice really came through and I was able to win the prize for guessing the largest number of the creators of the projects. And I just really got such joy in seeing how everybody interpreted things. This little lampshade intrigued me the most. I thought it was the most creative of all the projects that were done and I really loved it. And one of my joys is that at the end of this retreat, after talking with its creator, I was able to trade my project for that lampshade. So this lampshade now is home with me and I'm enjoying it in my bedroom. was just an amazing array of work. So many beautiful projects. And I loved that half of the people who attended the retreat took place in this challenge project. So here they are by name. This is mine, as you've seen. A lovely project by Sue Weeks. She's got a great sense of graphic design. And Nikki Seavey was the creator of the lampshade. Just a really creative use of the kit. Um, I loved the dimensionality of it. It was so much fun. Lovely work by Lydia Talton. She's got such beautiful stitching. The lovely work of Maureen Greeson in an exquisite bell pull. A lovely hanging by Wilma, and I loved the fabric she found to go with it. Mary Ann's work is often known for her beading and crystals. Shirley uses a lot of various couture type techniques. And Betty made a creative purse. Um, I loved the dimensionality of this. Here you see it opened out, so you're seeing the front and back, and then this is the inside of the project. And then the incomparable Allie Aller, creative and lovely as always. The first place went to Shirley Fassel, using her lovely techniques and her really creative use of all of the materials. Everything is there, although it's been cut up and changed and embellished. Um, to turn it into something completely different. When you really looked at the detail of this, it's no wonder that she took the first place prize. 
There are snippets of lace. She's colored many of the beads that were used, added a handful of things, but really done an exquisite job as she does in all of the stitching that she creates. Second place went to Maureen Greeson for her lovely bell pull. It's got a lovely mix of patchwork, embroidery, and embellishment using various items from the kit. I loved this spray of sequined flowers and wish I'd thought to do something similar and her lovely silk ribbon embroidery and here's how she used some of that rayon ribbon. Really a lovely project. I was intrigued by how the focus bird fabric was used. We've taken a look at mine in the past and so here's a look at how those bird fabric pieces show up in everybody's project. This is a better look at Lydia's block and how she created the dress from it. Lots of people used the lace to embellish the birds. And this one is from Wilma who used it as a background block. And this is from Mary Ann. She was very creative in applying cutouts of the blue fabric and then embellishing it. Truly a lot of fun to see the different ways that the bird fabric was used on each block. So here's one last look at all of the projects together. Truthfully, I think everybody was a winner in this. It was so hard to choose a favorite because each project brought some unique and beautiful technique or just the way they put things together. They were all spectacularly beautiful and really was a joy to behold all of them together in one place. much for watching today's episode of Ivory Blush Roses Crazy Quilting and Beyond. It was fun to take a look at everyone's work and see the tremendous variety of projects that came out of this challenge. My only regret is that I didn't get the chance to interview everybody and take a closer look at each individual project. I hope though that you have enjoyed this glimpse into this wonderful world of crazy quilting. And when you have a challenge like this, it certainly opens you up to all the incredible possibilities that you have from a small amount of materials. Wasn't it fun? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified of new episodes, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to hear your comments about all these wonderful projects in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. Happy stitching. Let's go create something beautiful.